Hey guys, so in this video, I want to talk about why ICPs and ICPs appear very calm and relaxed as if they've taken the chill pill. I want to talk about what are people's common explanation for this tendency and why it doesn't really work that well. And I'm going to give you my theory as to why this is the case. Be sure to check out how you could address depression and anxiety by understanding the mind-body connection in an interview I've done with health coach Lauren Failer and also my website and Instagram page. And you could find all these links down below in the description box. So I want to share with this with you as a physical impression that you get of ICPs and ICPs when you observe them. It, when you observe them, they appear visually as being very chill, as if they are completely calm and comfortable just where they are in the moment. And this is a visual impression. So if you were to ask them, perhaps they are feeling a lot of anxiety inside. So this is not so much about their internal world. It's about their visual kind of impression. So people commonly try to explain this by saying, this is due to their secondary expert sensing because their second function is expert sensing. And the thing is, it does not make sense. This theory does not make sense because ECPs and ESFPs, their primary function is expert sensing and they don't give off this impression at all. In fact, when you observe ESCPs and ESFPs, they look like they're rather amped up as if they've just drunk coffee, right? <laughs> because expert sensing, the modus operandi of expert sensing is having this immediate impact on the environment, having this kind of push through gritty quality that does not connotate calmness and comfortability and peace, that this impression that ICPs, ICPs have, there's, there's, a, there's a mismatch here. So there's an alternative explanation for why this is the case. So ICPs and ICPs, they do use expert sensing. So this push through quality I'm talking about, making this immediate impact on the world or having this uh, immediate curiosity of environment around them wanting to kind of do something with it. Yes, ICPs and ICPs, they have it. But as a secondary function, they apply this tendency situationally. So I've talked about before how the secondary function is a function that is wielded. So it's wielded according to the situation. And it's not their primary modus of, of operating. So it's not the world they completely live in. They apply it situationally. But if you look at how they kind of continuously operate, they tend to have more or less this calm and comfortable being at peace with, with where they are kind of impression. So where does it come from? So there is a way to explain this through socionics. So socionics is about how all eight of the cognitive functions are expressed in every single type. So even though ICPs and ICPs, they value expert sensing, they are secretly very strong at introvert sensing. They don't value introvert sensing. So when push comes to shove, they will prefer expert sensing over introvert sensing. But introvert sensing tends to be their stronger trait. And introvert sensing is about calmness, comfortability, being at peace. Another aspect is that ICPs and ISFPs are very finely attuned to detail. We talk with ESTPs and ESFPs, they don't have this fine attunement with detail that ICPs and ICPs possess. So there is a difference here. In order to be finely tuned to detail, you need to have that calmness because you need to have that patient calmness to, in order to deal with all the detail, right? Uh, ICPs, they do it more in terms of technicality. They use introvert thinking. So they're using introvert sensing towards an introvert thinking ends. All that fine attention to detail as the artisan towards um, technicalities. And then for ISFPs, they use that fine attention detail as an artist into the world of artistry. Of course, when I say 
artistry, I'm I'm talking about archetypically here because anyone could be an artist and ICP could be an artist, right? But these are archetypical names. Artisan artistry captures that impression of someone who's very finely attuned to detail when they're manifesting and creating something that comes out into the world as an expert sensing kind of product. So uh, further evidence for this theory that I have is that if you look at expert intuition, what is the impression you have in, of, of an expert intuiting kind of person, such as an ENFP and ENTP? So when they get into an expert intuiting kind of mode, they're rather frazzled. They're rather dissatisfied with the, the current like world because the they are attuned to the many possibilities out there. They're tuned to the unpredictability and the un uncertainty of the world, right? That is expert intuition. And they have weak introvert sensing. The key thing is that if you look at ENFJs and ENTJs, the impression's even stronger. Well, they are introvert sensing polar. And what that means is that they're very weak and they very much undervalue introvert sensing. So this impression that they're kind of frazzled or they can't rest or they're dissatisfied is even stronger for these types. So let's come back to the ICP and ISFP. When you look at them, uh, they're very comfortable and attuned and being okay as if they're very like fine with where they are in a moment because they are expert intuiting polar types. That means expert intuition is very undervalued and weak, and they have very strong introvert sensing. And that makes a lot of sense because ICPs and ISFPs, they reject the sense of uncertainty and unpredictability and ambiguity. And often, if you talk with them, they report a fear of that. So that's where their weaknesses of intuition shows. A lot of people think what makes an ICP or ISFP is a disinterest in ideas. I've talked with many of them. A lot of them are actually really fascinated by ideas. It's more like what they're weak at is in terms of intuition that is extroverted. So ambiguity, uncertainty, they report a fear of that. They don't want to deal with it. And that's why they're at peace. They look like they're at peace completely where, where, where they are. People with stronger extra intuition tend not to have a lot of internal peace because they see like, all the possibilities out out there. There's they act like they're completely chained to the they're chained to the moment. They're deprived by the moment. So even though like eyes of peace and ICPs could be very interested in ideas, they're very much people of the world. They're very much sensing types. So their second function is expert sensing, and they're very strong introvert sensing. So th that is like double whammy sensing. So. Their comfortability with the world is very palpable when you compare them to the INTP and also the INFP, which are not like very comfortable with being in the world. However, the other the, the other aspect of this is that ICPs and ICPs can be very concrete and literal people as a result, more so than ESCPs and also ESFPs. So ESCPs, ESFPs, they have a, a overall better understanding of intuition compared to these types. ISTPs and ISPs also give the impression that they carry themselves almost like they're oak trees. There's something like very solid about their impression. So it's a very particular impression that I have of them. They carry themselves like they're oak trees in a very solid way, in a way that makes them appear like they're very comfortable with where they are. So what this is, is the expert sensing and introvert sensing coming together. That solidity um, comes from expert sensing, and the other part comes from introvert sensing. So I want to let you know that I've interviewed Lauren Failer on my other channel, and she talks about how the mind-body connection. So she is an expert, a nutritionist, and she has a lot of fascinating things to say on this matter. How understanding this will help you better your psychology, help you to feel better. Be sure to check that out. You can find a link to the interview down below in the description box and also up above in the corner.